Trigonometric ratios can be defined using right-angled triangles. However, we can also define trigonometric ratios on the Cartesian plane. We can extend these definitions to any angle, since the definitions do not rely on the lengths of the sides of the triangle, but on the sides of the angle only. If we were to draw a circle, centered on the origin O, and passing through point P, X, Y, then the length from the origin to point P is the radius of the circle, which we denote R. We denote the angle formed between the line OP and the x-axis as theta. We could define our trig ratios based on the circle we've drawn. Using our triangle, OP has length radius r. The distance from x-axis to the point P will be length y. And the length from O to the right angle point on x-axis will be x. With this, we can rewrite all the trig ratios in terms of x, y, and r. The general definitions for trigonometric ratios are sine theta is equal to y over r, cos theta is equal to x over r, tan theta is equal to y over x. Remembering your so ka toa rule, which is sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan equals opposite over adjacent. Thus, we know the ratio is equal to the hypotenuse, as per the diagram. The side opposite angle theta is y, and the adjacent side to angle theta is x on this diagram. This is a way to remember these trig ratios using the Cartesian plane.